I know I'm lucky to work here. Some mornings, it's 7.50 in the morning and this, this is what I get to walk out to. Seven fifty in the morning. <laughs> Gotta get going. River band. Some LRB. I got six discs loaded up. I've always got little river band loaded up here. I got six discs in here. Got six discs. Week 42 at Pave to Pines. Okay, Frankie just got in this morning. He picked up our cabinet order from our supplier, Top Line Cabinets in Saskatoon. Whose build is this for? Uh, Rooster. These cabinets are for Rooster. on the menu this week from uh, from our shop foreman Christian here uh, oh cabinets came in you guys already saw that okay so we got paint prep for uh, Gandalf uh, we're gonna probably be spraying primer later today Sully is getting a wrap up on the electrical. Who's getting painted? Uh, Rooster or Ben? Ben. Like Gandalf. Okay, so Gandalf I'll probably start with. Okay, that's all from Christian. I think I will start with the painting. We'll follow that this week and see how the walls turn out. Okay, time's officially here. This little unit's going to PAGC right now. We're gonna do the drop off, maybe a little bit of a tour today. We cannot wait to see this project launch. Gonna see it locally. This project that PAGC is launching is going to do some incredible amount of good. And we're just happy to be a part of it. <laughs> Last couple peeks at it. What a project. Okay, just pulled up to PAGC. Time to go get the new owners. Oh yeah. There it goes. Oh. 
So basically, this popped out about half of it, and then there's legs in here that you guys set up, and you can set up cam. Okay, now back to Christian's... How do I center myself here now? Okay, so now back to Christian's list that he talked about yesterday. Today is going to be a paint day. Uh, the guys are going to be getting into Rooster... No, Gandalf. Guys are going to be getting into Gandalf. Walls are prepped, sanded. Primer is going to go on first. So, I think I'm going to get some footage of the spray. Top coat should be going on tomorrow. Whoa! I wonder how close that got. Okay, stepping into Gandalf so that you guys can see a before and after, uh, because I believe paint is happening today. All right, so that's a look at the before. Also, we've got a new door installed. I have not seen this yet. Hello! Uh, what material is this door? Is that cedar? I don't think it's cedar. I think it's just fur. Uh, oh, it? Fur? It's either... I think it's cedar. Guy doesn't buy it. It might be fur. What's that? Do you know what material that door is in there? Uh, I believe it's cedar. What would you say it is? <laughs> well, now I'm second guessing after you said it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, material is that door in there? That door? It's fur. <laughs> I <laughs> See? That's what he, uh, that's what he bought, too. Okay, we have a conclusion. Uh, Christian's gonna let us know what it is. It, it's fur. <laughs> it's fur. Yeah, 100% fur. It is 8.50 on Thursday. Let's go find out when Guy's gonna spray. No, you don't need to, that takes you long. Okay, I'll give you guys a look once Guy's done in there. That's gonna be it for paint today. Okay, so we've been making videos for about eight months now. Christian, <laughs> Christian has just told me Sitting in our shop, he's got this YouTube channel with videos with 109,000 views. Never cared to share it with us. Yeah, 109k. Some of these, 70. So what kind of videos are we looking at here? Just make videos, basically. I haven't done one for like three years. What's your YouTube? Uh, create customs. Create customs. Okay, Christian's on YouTube, create customs. A lot of cool, funky projects. Maybe we'll convince him to do a few in the shop. <laughs> Christian's gonna explain our paint process. What are we doing now for stages of like caulk and uh, what did we come up with? Well, we first first what we do is we spray with a narrow uh, narrow tip all the like profiles, like all the um, the base and trim around everything that's getting painted. And then once that's dry. We go through with a wider fan, fine finish tip, and uh, prime all the, the, the surfaces. After that's dry, everything gets a sand, and, and then tack clothed off. All the joints and tops of trims and edges all get caulked. In this particular one, because we got so many different colors in here, it's not just one color, we're not going to use the uh, airless. 
we're going to HVLP all the trim and then cut in and roll all the flat profiles. There you have it, that's the paint process. And I believe the reason we're not using the airless is like Christian said, many different colors and the clean out takes up more time than yeah, the actual it's benefits. A, yeah, it's just a more time consuming process. Just gonna take a steady cut in hand. Thanks buddy. Yeah. Kesha did. Yeah. Has a had a relationship with a ghost. You look on YouTube. Okay, I was talking about paint, but apparently Kesha has a ghost partner. I'm not judging. I think ghosts could be real. I just don't know. Okay, task number two that Christian has given us uh, for this week. Frankie is tackling wiring. What about the wiring? What about it? I don't know. What are you wiring? What are we wiring? Bad question. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, we are cutting for spray foam, so we're just getting everything wrapped up. Okay, so he's just wrapping up, tidying up wires, that kind of thing, doing his final checks. Spray foam is going in. Oh, hopefully next week. Hopefully next week. Are you helping? Yeah, I'm gonna help today. Unreal. What's uh, what's the best tip Frank has given you so far? I haven't gotten really any tips. I was just kidding. <laughs> um, I I don't give tips, man. That that little trick. You gotta figure it out on his own. I like that trick. Give us a tip, Frank. Tip? Yeah. Okay, here's a tip. <laughs> For these exterior exterior features like cameras and lights. We are starting to use poly pans, and then you stick all your cable in here and if you want. A poly pan is this thing, if yes. you're wondering. Mm -hmm. It's an insulated box you would normally use in a house. You use it for exterior plugs in a house usually, and exterior stuff. But we use it for our cables to go in, and then when you have to uh, fix them or troubleshoot them, you can pull them out, and all the cable comes with it, and you can actually access it. Then you can put all the cable back, and it helps us in the end. That's a good tip. Good tip. And Frank's got some new shades. I think I got new shades today. They look lovely. They're not really shades. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Okay, so what I was hoping for was Frank would pop on here and give you guys some words of wisdom. Uh, mainly because you're probably getting tired of hearing just my voice. Oh, so I have to, I have to fill your- You were supposed to be the lighthearted oh. comedy. Well, okay, leave it running. I'll, I'll think of something. Leave it. I'm still in here. Hey, it's Frank. Just like to thank all you guys for watching the video. Take care. Have a good weekend. You know what? That's actually beautiful. Thanks, Frank. That was beautiful. That was much more heartfelt than I thought. <laughs>